What's up guys, it's Santiago from Midnight Tech Reviews, and if you guys don't know already, the new uh, Android Lollipop preview is out, so this is as close to the final code of the actual thing that you can get, and I'm going to show you guys how to install it. So in order to download it, you just really want to quickly go into uh, this link, which I'll have down in the description, or you can just type in Android L on Google and go to de developer.android.com. And you're going to choose your Nexus device. Right now, it's the 5 or the 7. And obviously, I'm going to be doing it on my Nexus 5. So I already went ahead and downloaded that file. Another file you're going to want, which I'll have down in the description, is this toolkit called the Nexus Root Toolkit 1.8.9, 1 which will make this really easy. So there are two things, sort of, that you need to have for, your, for this to work on your Nexus 5 using the Root Toolkit and not the SDK Manager. One, you need to have an unlocked bootloader, which we can do from right here. And two, you want to have USB debugging on. For USB debugging on, all you really have to do is go into the developer options and check it. If it's not checked, you just want to go really quickly into um, about your phone, scroll down to build number, and then just click it seven times, and that'll unlock developer options for you. Go back, look for developer options, click it, go scroll down to USB debugging, click it, and connect your phone, and you're all set. Now make sure your Nexus 5 uh, drivers before you hit USB debugging is installed on your computer and then reinstall a new, a new set of drivers after you hit USB debugging. If those drivers don't install, just click here where it says full driver installation guide and just follow the directions. It's fairly simple. Really the easiest thing you can do is just follow these directions and when you get to step 3, just take Google drivers for your driver solution number 1 and that's just going to install all your, all your needed drivers for, for your Nexus device. And when you start up new, uh, the root toolkit for the first time, you're just going to select your model type, which mine is the Nexus 5, the DA20, and I'm running Android 4.4.4, and my build number is a KTU84P. So first, we're going to unlock the phone. So I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the phone first. And this is going to completely factory reset your phone. So I'm just going to hit OK. Once again, your phone needs to have USB debugging on and hooked up to the computer. You're going to hit Yes. It's going to check your ADB status. My device is connected, so we're good to go, and it's going to reboot into bootloader mode, as you guys can see. And then it's going to go ahead and do its thing. You have to, I already tried making this video with my bootloader locked, guys. It does not work. You need to unlock your bootloader. So on your screen, you're going to get this on your phone. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, so I'm going to show you guys close up you're gonna scroll up with your um, volume buttons and you're gonna use enter with your power button so you're just gonna hit yes and it's gonna factory you reset your phone and it's gonna unlock the bootloader I think this is a I think this restarts your phone twice I'm not sure it might just be once it doesn't take very long and uh, it's fairly simple process the phone is unboot is unlocked now you know it's unlocked when um when you restart your phone and there's the Google sign and underneath the Google logo there's actually a little lock that's opened that means your bootloader is unlocked so when you get here right now you don't really need to worry about this except you're gonna wanna enable USB debugging on your device again so you're just gonna hit OK and when you're setting up your phone again for now don't worry about it just uh, ignore it just skip through everything skip through the Wi-Fi put in whatever two letters for your phone name you want because we're going to be flashing a new uh, factory image anyways so you really don't have to worry about it so the phone is going to reboot twice actually and we'll just wait for that <clears throat> well, now it's finished rebooting and I'm just going to wait so I can go through stock this might take a little bit longer just because it factory reset so your first boot up time is going to take a little bit longer all right, as of right now, my LG G3 is actually my driver. Right now, my daily driver, guys. I'm trying to um, test it out, trying to get it to work. I'm using Buzz Launcher, and I'm liking it right now. The phone is working pretty fast, and uh, I'm trying to play games on it, trying to really crack it down so I can do a nice full review on the LG G3, uh, like a comeback to it like after two, three weeks or something like that. But I'm really liking it. I definitely like the camera. And the only thing I can say right now that I don't like about the LG G3 is I dropped it once and there's this little dent on the side now that nobody would ever like. But it's really not noticeable. 
and on the back I'm getting a few like scratches uh, nothing too noticeable but you know me being the owner I definitely notice it so that kind of sucks so what I'm trying to get is a dbrand uh, skin for it so I can put it over it so I don't have to worry about things like that anymore Blah blah blah. I'm going through the setup time right now, so I'm just skipping through it. Okay. So the phone is all set up, and now we are good to go. Now the bootloader is unlocked. You just want to go into settings, and you're gonna obviously want to uh, get um, your developer options back up. So click build number seven times in uh, about phone, and then go into developer options in the settings menu. Hit USB debugging. Click OK, and uh, allow it from your computer and you're good to go now you're gonna go where it says flash stock and unroot and you're gonna hit that you're gonna hit OK and you should already have downloaded your Android L preview so just put that somewhere you're gonna find it easily and you're gonna want these options selected you're gonna want other browse for use any factory image package tgz or tar and in choice you're gonna want to do I downloaded a factory image myself that I would like to use instead so I'm going to hit OK, and I already have it. I have it on my desktop, so I just put it in a folder. So I'm going to select that. It's going to analyze the factory image. And make sure you still have the um, developer.android website up so you can get the MD5 uh, numbers. So just let it uh, analyze the factory image. Just wait up on it. Should, should work. There we go. So now it's going to come up with this sign. Enter the MD5 hash given for hammerhead, blah, blah, blah. Go back into the website, and I already have it highlighted for you guys. Depending on the device you guys got, if it's the Nexus 7, you're going to do the Nexus 7 one. So I'm going to hit copy, and I'm going to hit paste, and I'm going to click OK. And we're going to exit from there. And it's going to go ahead and check, and check, and this should work. Match, so there we go, extracting factory image package. Please be patient. So you're just going to wait, and this is pretty much going to do it all on its own now. So we'll see how this comes out. I can't wait for the full version to be out so I can give you guys that nice first look at it. I'm very happy with the, um, the amount of views that my first one got for the first Android developer. That was I like that. I got almost half a thousand views already, guys. I really appreciate that. Um, and if yeah, you guys start enjoying my videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to get a, a new little setup for unboxings, like a little white box. It's a little white box, with, and it comes with four lamps, uh, four lights to me, for me to go through. So for a lighting setup, just for me to put the item inside of it, and I can unbox it. So that's going to be pretty cool. So this should come up if everything's worked out correctly. And you're just going to hit OK. And it's going to start doing its thing. So yeah, guys, I definitely, I'm definitely very happy that I'm trying to get that setup going. And I'm trying to get the, um, I'm trying to get a few phones for you guys. I'm trying to get the Moto G, the Moto X. Uh, and then I'm trying to get the, the first generations and the second generations. I'm trying to get the Nexus 6. Hopefully, I'm going to get the Nexus 6 before anything else. Just because I really want to try getting it. Uh, if not, on a pre-order as soon as possible after it's actually officially released. And then I found this uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 clone that is apparently very, very good. So I'm definitely trying to get my hands on that for you guys because uh, apparently it's very, very good. And apparently it might have actual, you know, finger lock. Uh, so we'll see about that. And it's only like $170 or something like that. And I'm also looking at the uh, Xiaomi. I think it's Xiaomi is the right, right way to pronounce it if I remember uh, a lot of people say uh, Xiaomi or Xiaomi, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, Xiaomi. And uh, apparently that is really, really, um, it's a really new company at making phones, but they, they overtook LG worldwide in, in, in producing phones. So we'll see how that comes out. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and pause this recording right now and wait for this to... Uh, to keep going so we'll uh, I'll be back alright guys so I am back and uh, as you guys can see it finally decided to start and I actually had to restart the program because I don't know it froze which kinda sucked 
but uh, it's doing its thing and it should be working as soon as it finishes uh, writing the information up because once it flashes the stock it actually has to rewrite a boot sig and a recovery sig and all that and it does that all for it so it does that all by itself so you guys don't have to worry if you guys see anything that might ha that you think might be bad for your phone don't worry the program takes care of anything that might go wrong it does it all for you it rewrites all the needed files and all that so don't stress out oh. so we're gonna see this should be this should be pretty good guys I'm gonna be trying to I'm gonna play with it tonight and then tomorrow um I'm gonna, you know, I'm definitely gonna come out with, with a first look at the Android L Developer Preview 2.0, <laughs> cause it's sick. It it looks dope, guys. It looks like the thing to have, and that's one of the reasons I'm really happy to have the Nexus 5 for because, you know, without the Nexus 5, I wouldn't be able to get this thing so early and show it to you guys. And uh, plus, the Nexus 5 is just a beautiful phone. I mean. The Nexus 6, I definitely want it, but I don't know if I'm ever going to use it Use it because it's so big. But we'll see how it really feels in the hand once I actually have it in my hands. So it's writing the, the, the ROM and everything, and we're going to get this. Oh, yes. So I, I hope I wasn't, you know, too complicated for you guys, and I hope you guys could understand me well. Um, I did use a blue snowball to record these, you know, computer videos for you guys so the audio quality I don't think should be too bad there might be like some p sounds that are really annoying because I don't have any anything covering that so mm -hmm. but uh, the phone should be you know flash now so I believe right now your phone will be mm -hmm. uh, rebooting twice so all you want to do now is hit any key to exit and uh, it's gonna say the factory package flash was detected from which you were previously running uh, just hit OK, and for now, just just hit X, and you're just gonna close out of that because you don't need it anymore. And uh, I do have L on my phone now, as you guys can see, the boot the boot is different. It's the L boot now. So that should have factory reset your phone. So now you can set up your phone the way you want it to, guys. And I'm just waiting for the boot to finish so I can show you guys that everything turned out fine. And that we do indeed have Android L on my Nexus 5 and on your Nexus devices. Now, if you don't have a Nexus device, this is still really helpful because you're going to see if you plan on getting the Nexus 6 or the Nexus 5, which will still be up for sale since, I mean, it could technically be considered the Nexus 6 Mini. Um, or if you want to get the Moto X, which is, you know, the Nexus 6 Mini for real. Like, it really is the Nexus 6 Mini. Um... You can uh, just look this out because Moto, Moto, Motorola is probably going to be the first company apart from Nexus to actually get this. So you're going to get this warning as soon as you boot up your phone. And you're just going to hit OK. And as you can already see, the setup menu is completely different. So we do have Android L, guys. I'm happy you guys watched the video. And I hope you guys got it completed. And... You know, I'll see you guys in the review. Peace. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my videos, guys.